what does State of Illusion mean to you? Where do you believe the band is headed as they start the next decade? As far as going forward, I mean, there's only one way they're going is up. And if, you know, I think all these boys are they're in it for the long haul. They, they come together and they, I see the practice that they put yeah. into it and you know, it reflects on the shows they play. Yeah. Um, and I know they're not where they want to be yet, but I know they're going to get there. To see where you guys have come from when I was there to now is just a huge, huge change. It seems like they're continually rising. Like the skill level's getting better, the production's getting better, the thought is getting more intricate, and it's like being refined. So that's cool to see. I mean, to me, like, I don't know why the, like, why you guys aren't signed already like I don't I don't understand we've always been um, good friends that we've always cared about each other and uh, that's been I mean, that that was the great thing about this band was uh, I think that's one of the things that I look back on I'm like wow that was special I always look back with reverence mm -hmm. memories you know what I mean I have these memories of reverence I hold them dear because they're just like such a big part of my life you know what I mean but uh, looking back now at the 10 year mark, um, we've come a long way from our humble beginnings at Battle of the Bands for uh, Greenville Tech Charter High School um, up to, uh, you know, playing with Stained, uh, playing, you know, with a whole bunch of other great bands, you know, um, kind of pushing and making our mark on the music scene. Ten years down the road, in a decade, I know that I want to be playing music because of my times with State of the Ocean. You know, looking at where they are now, um, I couldn't be prouder of what, they, of what they've accomplished since I've left. It's uh, been really, really great to see and then actually like go, go see them play a show and to see where, like, where they are at now compared to what it was whenever I was in the shows and ideas that we had then that have become a reality now. I stuff like, you know, we had dreamed of doing that's now becoming an actual real thing. Um, just really impressed to see how far that they've pushed the limits on the band. And uh, so yeah, that's my story. I'm, <laughs> Proud to have been part of the, part of this experience, and uh, can't wait to watch and see where they're going to go. Uh, it's been awesome. I, I look forward to it always. I still more. Um, I don't know how to say it, but we. I love doing it. We've done more in two years mm. with this band than I have. 10 years of my entire career. That's a powerful statement. That really definitely. is. I don't have much to show for previous bands, but I think this is definitely, we've, we've got something going on. Yeah. And it, I've, I've always wanted to do it, and I finally get to, yeah. and these these guys are great. Um, <clears throat> and it's really, we're starting to work on new music now, which I'm enjoying, because I, I mean, I'm playing these guys' music. Right. Which is there's nothing wrong with that. I, I want I just want my piece in it, and it's it's fun. And the music writing is going good. We all like bounce off of each other. It's going really well. So it seems that there's you're, uh, there's there's gro there's a lot of growth ahead. It, oh yeah. And you, do you see yourself being a part of that growth? Absolutely. I think it could be in my previous bands. There's always that uh, doubt. Like, maybe this. You know, if this doesn't work out, I've still got my other job, or I'll start another band, even more difficult to do. But I think this band, as far as musical talent and commitment, and having a, a final product to work with, we definitely have a good chance. Excellent. There's no doubt in my mind at all. It's They've been unbelievable, yeah. really. Ten, ten years, I mean... I, you know, I've only been in it for maybe five, I think, right, or something yeah. like that. Um, but just the fact that it's still.
going on is yeah. you know unbelievable man that's i think what it means to me is just passion it's it's commitment yeah. it's just perseverance definitely uh, we have a lot of uh, potential to get signed make some more studio albums and uh you know be like a professional touring band that's where i see it going well we're gonna i know we're going to make this full time you know we, we've got what it takes and we've got great songs mm -hmm. and um, and the drive to, to get there we're gonna take it full time we're gonna be a touring band you know i, I definitely see us getting picked up by a record label who knows you know the, you know, the sky's the limit yeah. we're gonna keep reaching for it Today's February 27th, 2017, and it's roughly a year after Jason Torres and I started working on this documentary project. And over the course of that year, um, a lot of changes happened within the band. Shortly after, we filmed the interview portions of, uh, of this documentary. Um, certain things happened within the band that, that took hold for the next couple months. And, um, forced Cam to make the decision to leave the band in June or July uh, of 2016 and unfortunately uh, put me in, in the position where I, I had to make a, a change as well. Unfortunately at the end of 2016 I had to make the difficult decision to let Richard and Josh go um, so that I could focus on the band and, and, and kind of find myself within it again. Um, it was not a decision that I wanted to make. And I hated making it. I hated every part of that. Richard is definitely one of the best drummers in the area. There's nothing he can't play. And he's a great dude, really smart guy. Um, and Josh is just the most incredible all-around musician that I've ever played with. He can play any instrument better than anybody else. And I was fortunate to play with those guys. I had to, had to move forward. And so right now, I'm, I'm pushing State of Illusion. Uh, I'm searching for, for new members uh, slowly. Um, I'm gonna make sure I find the right guys. Uh, I'm not gonna settle. Uh, but in the time being, God has blessed me with a great network of uh, really talented musicians and friends that are uh, willing to help me out. Uh, I've got I've got Cam coming back for a couple shows, um, which as you've, sh as you've seen through this documentary is, uh, you know, nobody, nobody strays too far. We all have really good relationships still. I've got Tom Carden from Solarist um, filling in on bass. He's incredible. We're working on his album right now, uh, the Solaris record, and it's going to be really great. The first few songs are amazing. Um, and I've got Bryce Chisholm from Broken Testimony playing drums. He's an amazing kid, uh, high energy, and man, this is the this is the most fun I've had in this band in a long time. And you know, this this is the best I've felt within the band in a long time. Um, takes a lot of stress off my shoulders and, and these guys are great and I'm really excited to play with Flaw tomorrow night. Uh, Flaw is a band that I've wanted to play with since I was 16 or 17 when I first heard them so uh, I'm really thrilled to play with Flaw and especially while sharing the stage with, with those you know, great guys. We're all really great friends so this is going to be a lot of fun. The future looks really bright. We've got several things in the works. Um, just with with this group of guys that are filling in and um, I can't wait for the next stage of State of Illusion. I'm, I'm going to keep pushing and I'm not going to quit. Yeah.